welcome back to my tutorial on installing Bugzilla. In this session, we are going to learn the final installation of Bugzilla. So now we have completed with installing Perl, installing database engine, installing a web server. Now we are going ahead for installation of Bugzilla. I'm going back to my server. Okay. So Bugzilla. 5.0.6 is ready. I have downloaded it from the Bugzilla official website. So when you download it would be uh, this 5.0.6 star.gz you will extract it then you will get the another file that will be .tar then again extract it then you will get final binaries that will be Bugzilla 5.0.6 that's all. What I have done it, I have copied this to my local C drive. Inside C, I have copied as a folder Bugzilla. To make it more simple, I have removed the uh, other number and precisions. I have made it just as Bugzilla. The next is to going back to our server and starting the IIS manager. IIS can also be started with a different command. You go to run, write time at MGI. It would do the same thing. Or you can also search here in I start button for IIS. And it would list it. What we are going to do it first prerequisite that we would need it will need an application pool expand the server name go to application pool click on add new application and write the name of the application Bugzilla and just say ok so I am ready with my Bugzilla application pool I am going to my default side by clicking on science default website just right click on this side and say add application click on select pool select the pool that we created click on ok write bugzilla click in these three dots go to c drive select the file that we have we have got directory Bugzilla. Click on OK. Again OK. So now you can see in the default website you are able to see a directory or you see the application name and Bugzilla. So now our installation of Bugzilla in IS got completed. Now we are going to install required Perl modules to run Bugzilla. To do that, go to C drive and the Bugzilla, uh, Bugzilla installation directory. How to do that? Go to TMD, run as administrator, I'll come to the path C drive Bugzilla. To install all the Perl module, we need to know what are the installation those are needed or something is missing. Simply just hit P E R L Perl and write check setup.pl. So, this installation or uh, running this local config is advising you to look at the local configurations and uh, looking for what are the uh, modules those are missing and what are the services those are not running. So, simply to learn and make it working, what we have to do is we have to install all the missing components. To do that, we just go through the logs saying if you want to install all the module those are missing simply write install module all we'll do the same and just copy it paste it here
one thing remember when we are running this and uh, asking that we should be able to install all the modules this is not all the poll modules what we are installing this is a bugzilla requirement whatever is required to run bugzilla maybe something good to have or something that is mandatorily required so all these configurations will be run here and all the necessary modules will be installed by bugzilla okay till then it's complete i'll just pause this video so now our uh, check is completed and Perl have installed all the necessary modules to run bugzilla we'll go ahead and do the same thing again to see if uh, required modules are present or not we will just run again check setup.pl So it's running an error. Access denied for user bugs. Okay. Looks good because uh, we have not yet set up our database and the required configuration that would be running it. Now go ahead and check for any other error. says MRD poll not found Apache size limit okay we are not using Apache so that we can ignore MOD poll we can also ignore that Perl LF not found so everything is good because uh, we also don't need uh, Perl LF so all good no other errors Please note this requires a little time because uh, it is installing so many uh, missing modules. Now we will create Bugzilla database and we will configure the local config file to have the uh, database name, database user and database password. So uh, when you read the local config, it is looking for a database as bugs, username as bugs and a password. What are we going to do in this tutorial? We are going to create a database. What we have to do? Just look for your applications. Click on start button. Here and recently I am able to see MySQL 5.7 command line. Similarly, you can also find it out uh, by searching it. I don't have to search because it's coming here. Or you just write MySQL and you will be able to see the command line. I would recommend to go ahead with Unicode. Once you click on this, it will ask for a password. You will have to just enter your root password. So because we when we uh, set up the MySQL that time we entered root as user. We did not create any other user that we can do that uh, if you know the uh, MySQL better you can do that. I will also try uh, creating another tutorial which makes this process more easier. However, we are going to make it more limited such that we don't have to install multiple applications or dependent applications and create something new so we will be stuck with minimum required components to be installed so once you open it simply just write this keyword create database box and terminate it with a semi colon now we have got this database we have our user root that we set up in the beginning of the mysql installer we have our password hope you remember it now let's complete the installation and uh, work on the database part so uh, as you saw it was uh, giving us the error for the uh, sql connection so uh, here what we have to do is we have to come to the uh, bugzilla installation part open the local config file i have already opened it and look for uh, db user and db password for db user i am uh, mentioning my root user however it is not required that you always use a root user 
you can have uh, any standard user however that user should be able to uh, run and execute the queries the sps uh, this kind of uh, of permissions if you need more information you can always google it and get the required permission uh, from bugzilla now uh, in this tutorial i'm using root user you can use any other user which you have as per the permission requirements from bugzilla uh, it does not really require to have a root user or a root permission now next is coming to the uh, password this is the password we uh, set during our MySQL installation for root user. So I'm entering the password here and saving this configurations. So once you update this file, then this means it will be able to uh, connect to the database. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel.